I don't know what's going on with Adam, but but something's really, really wrong. The last week or so, he's been bubbly. I know. I know it's not a it's not an easy situation. The other night, I tried to have sex with him, and he wouldn't keep his shoulders down for more than two seconds. I know. Listen. I have someone who's going to try to work on him, okay? But we have to get him in here first. Okay. Uh, Adam! Adam? Honey? You guys just heard my name. Who's this place? Here we go. It's time to go to work. Your time is up, my time is now. now. You can't <laughs> see me, my time is now. now. It's the franchise where I'm shining now. Adam, um, we're, we're concerned about you. Um, you haven't been acting like yourself lately, you know? Uh, we really kind of like the old Adam back. Yeah. Matthew, Lisa, I understand your concern. But what you need to do is the same thing that I told you from day one. Never give up. You stick with this, we are all going to be better for it. <sighs> all right, Adam, look, I have someone I want to introduce you to, okay? This is Dr. Poffo. She agreed to come here today and speak with you because she's just as concerned about you as we are. Hi, Adam. I'm Dr. Pavel. It's nice to meet you, Doctor. Nice to meet you. Um, I am here today. I just want to ask you a couple questions, uh, maybe go over some things. Um, can you just tell me how you're feeling today? Honestly, Doctor, a little weird at first. But I have to tell you, sitting here, never felt better in my life. Okay, and... Um, can you, can you tell me how you're feeling about feeling so great? Fantastic. Um, better than ever and indescribably perfect. Well, Adam, um, the reason I'm here today is that your friends are concerned. They feel that you haven't been yourself lately. Would you care to elaborate on that for me? Myself? I'm just this person, Doctor. This is exactly who I have to be, who I should be, and who they want me to be. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every single night. Adam, are you familiar with the standardized ink blot tests? I'll hold up each photo and just, just tell me the first thing you see, okay? Last man standing, Randy Orton, 17th time. Okay, well, great. Let's move on to the second. Okay. Madison Square Garden, United States Championship, my first title, WrestleMania 20. Okay. The belt spun. And the third. And I gotta tell you, Doc, I don't see anything there. What if I turn it this way? WrestleMania 22, that weird crown that Triple H wore during his entrance. Okay. <laughs> Mine was better, you know, I dressed up as a gangster. Uh, this will be the last one. I'm surprised that you brought this up. As a matter of fact, I remember the night when Kevin Steen's little son, Owen, won his first match at PWG. R really? <laughs> oh, no. No, that's a... Uh, come on, that's a broad panties match. <sighs> Doctor, uh, what's your professional opinion? Is there anything you can do? Um, based on my assessment and my, my professional opinion, honestly, he's a douchebag. All right, Matt, let's get to the reason I'm actually here. You and I have unfinished business. So once and for all, it's time to settle this. You and me, apartment championship. Uh, you know, dude, I don't think I should wrestle you in this current state. I mean, you're not right in the head right now. Matt, you have to do this. You have to lay down for him. 
if he loses as John Cena, it's going to send him over the edge. You, you have to give up the title. Please. What to do?